All right, I have quickly entered some new stuff into the repository and rather than type it out uh, line by line and have you repeat after me, I'm just gonna go through what it does real quickly. As you can see, it now allows you to display some details about the rides that are available. And if you follow to a link here, which doesn't work currently, you can find all the details about a particular ride. So right now, we're able to see the user who's providing the ride, where the ride is to, and which service location and time it is at. And, and so we do that for all of our rides right here. And uh, what we've done is that we have our rides controller we've created with an index because remember that lists all of our rides and, and so we just uh, do that. If we look at our views we have uh, for our, our rides, we have our index which just lists our rides, lists uh, all of our the number of rides and then does our render which goes into our partial. So if we look at our partial we will see um, here's where for each element we just list that ride and so we right here link to that rides username and notice that we don't provide a path we provide an object and Rails knows the path to that object. Uh, we have the church name this could be a link as well uh, I don't have it in there because I don't have the code yet set up for displaying churches but that could easily have a link to as well. Same thing with the service look and its location and time and then we have our details for that particular ride. And then uh, finally uh, we look at our routes file. We've added a rides resource because if we go and run our right a routes command we want to have paths now right here for the different rides that we want to be able to display and so we've got that additional resource that we're supporting so that is a, a quick run through of the code uh, and that allows this page to be displayed and what we're going to look at next is why this is not enough for for listing the rides what we want to what modifications we want to make to make this more usable